I've got this brace here to hold up this middle bar. It's not really required for any kind of structural purposes, but I guess it doesn't hurt. Over the week I had some guys over who installed this nice beam here and these struts, which hold up the middle beam. In some places I had to add these boards so I had something to screw the sheets onto. To prevent moisture from getting into the walls I added these tar felts underneath the styrofoam. Where there was too much of a gap in the walls, I used this polyurethane foam. This foam actually expands to four times of its original size, so it would be interesting how I could use this stuff in some other project. This is what I've done so far. I've put most of the polystyrol I had on the walls. But I'm gonna have to buy some more. As you can see, all this stuff is just lying around. It's like a big Tetris game. A lot of this junk I'm just gonna throw out. Okay, so let's take a look into this corner here. As you can see, concrete base doesn't extend far enough out for these pillars. So what I'm going to do is to lay down some brick or something outside. From the outside you can really see that there is a gap, but from the inside you can see it. I actually found this hydraulic jack in the heaps and heap, heaps of stuff in my shop and I used it to lift up the wall so I could get this tar felt underneath the posts.
this side of the wall is still open to the concrete wall on the outside and I'm using this plastic sheet to keep the moisture from getting in. Here you can still see a puddle of water, but to prevent water from getting in in the future, I actually did a lot of work right now. I removed all these outside boards and wrapped this black stuff up and behind the boards, as you can see here. This should keep the water out in the future. I want to lay down some more paving stone in front of this shop. I went out and bought 30 sheets of these USB boards or I don't know, K boards in English maybe? They should be enough for this wall the upside and this back wall. I also bought this stone wool mineral fiber insulation I guess in English. Um, this stuff is heat resistant and fire retardant up to 1000 degrees Celsius. That's what it says on this paper. This stuff is gonna go on this wall where my forge will be in the future, so I don't risk burning down my workshop. So much for the insulation of my workshop. In the next part I'm gonna show how I installed the wall sheathing. Thanks for watching!